today we discuss on saddle node bifurcation I discuss about saddle node bifurcation and the equilibria points that is steady states and their stability for the following differential equation first order differential equation dx dt equals 2x square plus r and dx dt equal to minus x square plus r this r is the bifurcation parameter a saddle node bifurcation is a local bifurcation in which two steady states of a dynamical system collide and annihilate each other two steady states two equilibrium or equilibria points of a dynamical system collide and annihilate each other this is the saddle node bifurcation for one di one dimensional edge space one dimensional means there is only single spaces one of the steady states equilibrium point, point is unstable and the other is stable this bifurcation is also known as tangential bifurcation or fold bifurcation or blue sky bifurcation first we discuss uh, on the differential equation dx dt equal to x square plus r here x t is a population density that is a state variable and r is the bifurcation parameter for the steady states we know dx dt equal to 0 no change in x with the time variable t so dx dt equal to 0 gives x square plus r equal to 0 hence x equal to plus minus root over minus r so we get two equilibria points x1 star is equal to root over of minus r and x2 star equal to minus of root over of minus r now let the right hand side expression in equation 1 x square plus r equal to fx so df dx equal to 2x now if by percussion parameter r is negative then obviously uh, r is negative then minus r is positive so uh, there are two real and distinct equilibria points first we say x1 star is equal to root over of minus r and second is x2 star to minus or root over minus r because r is negative so minus r is positive and df dx at the point x1 star this is equal to 2x1 star so put the value of x1 star this is equal to root over of minus r so this is positive because r is negative so minus r is positive so 2 into root over of minus r is positive so df dx at the point x1 star equal to minus root over r is positive sign so uh, by sign convention and this x1 star is an unstable steady state or equilibrium point and df dx at the point x2 x2 star is equal to minus or root over minus r we get this equal to 2 x2 star is equal to minus 2 into root over minus r obviously r is negative and then this minus 2 into root over minus r is negative 
so x2 star equal to minus root over minus r is stable steady state case 2 if r equal to 0 then uh, equilibria are x equal to plus minus root over minus r equal to 0 so there is only one equilibrium point for steady state x star equal to 0 now df dx at the point x star equal to 0 is equal to 2 x star equal to 0 so uh, df dx uh, is neither positive or nor negative so we cannot decide um, about the stability um, of the x star equal to 0 by this sign convention uh, for this uh, uh, we uh, use graphical method uh, later we uh, show that we can show that this uh, equilibrium point x star equal to 0 is semi stable or half stable equilibrium point or steady state case 3 if r is positive then uh, r is positive then root of r of minus r uh, obviously this negative so this is purely imaginary number so uh, there is no uh, steady state in this case now we draw the page portraits uh, for different cases page portrait means this horizontal axis x axis and the vertical axis is dx dt so uh, for this uh, dx dt uh, d dx dt equal to so this equation 1 is equal to dx dt equal to x square plus r so x square plus r uh, for r negative uh, we get a parabola this type of parabola and the uh, um, equilibrium points equilibrium points are this is x1 star this x1 star this is x1 star star is the root over of minus r and this is unstable equilibria equilibrium point uh, because in the uh, right hand side of this point x1 star uh, is positive so uh, arrow put arrow in the uh, right uh, direction the right direction and the uh, left uh, left hand point the left hand points the point x1 star is the dx dt is negative so put here uh, left handed arrow so this point is x1 star is unstable and put a empty circle at this point and uh, this x2 star uh, equals to uh, minus root over minus r is stable equilibrium point because uh, this uh, left hand uh, left side uh, of this point is this dx dt is positive so put here uh, right handed arrow and uh, right side point of this point x2 star right right side point uh, for this point dx dt is negative so put his left handed arrow so this obviously this uh, x2 star is stable equilibrium point and so we put a solid circle uh, this x2 star on by uh, notation for this uh, stable equilibrium point and uh, case 2 when r equal to 0 uh, we uh, get only one equilibrium point is 0 and uh, left hand side of the point 0 uh, is the dx dt is positive so put here right hand arrow and right side of the point uh, 0 uh, is the dx dt is uh, positive also so we again put here arrow the right sided arrow so this arrow uh, towards origin and uh, or this arrow is away from origin so this part is stable part this part is stable part and uh, put here this part is stable part and this is unstable part so uh, we uh, we can say this equilibrium point is semi stable or half stable point and for the case r is when r is positive uh, then the graph is this so uh, we uh, cannot get any uh, equilibria um, the intersection with this graph and the x axis so there is no equilibrium point in this case so uh, bifurcation diagram uh, is this is this horizontal axis is the bifurcation parameter r and the vertical axis is the uh, point 
x point x and so uh, when uh, r is negative suppose r is here and then for this ne uh, negative value particular negative value bar we get two equilibrium point x1 star and this x2 star and when uh, r uh, value r is this then we get uh, again two equilibrium point this this is unstable unstable and this is corresponding for this r we get in this below is stable equilibrium point and so on in this way when r is zero uh, only one equilibrium point and when r is greater than zero uh, no equilibrium point and uh, this this type uh, bifurcation uh, bifurcation known as subcritical saddle node bifurcation subcritical means uh, these equilibria exist uh, for the value of r and the bifurcation uh, value uh, lower the bifurcation value zero equilibrium uh, equilibria exist for the values of r below the bifur bifurcation value zero below the bifurcation because uh, bifurcation as equilibrium point uh, exist uh, left hand side of zero so this is the subcritical saddle of bifurcation subcritical bifurcation uh, we can draw this graph for this uh, when r is negative say suppose r equal to minus 2 then uh, we get this is the phase diagram of this this is the horizontal is x and this is the vertical axis is dx dt is equal to fx so this point um, is stable and this point is unstable uh, equilibrium point and corresponding uh, to this value uh, we get and for this when r equal to 0 uh, on when r equal to 0 we get uh, only one equilibrium point is zero and obviously uh, this side is st uh, stable but this side is uh, this side is unstable so this actually totally uh, this point is unstable unstable and uh, this diagram is the time series solution so this horizontal axis is horizontal axis is horizontal axis uh, gives the time axis and vertical axis it gives the x x uh, when if uh, this at the point time equal to equal to 0 uh, this uh, point is uh, this x0 value of x0 value of x0 and corresponding uh, initial uh, value of x and corresponding uh, uh, to this value x0 uh, we get this trajectory of this so when t increases the value of x uh, increases in this way and this zero and if r is positive r is positive then there is no equilibrium point no equilibrium point and when r is negative uh, we get two equilibrium equilibria uh, points this one is corresponding to minus one so this is the um, green horizontal line this is minus 1 and corresponding to plus 1 uh, this red horizontal line the time switch axis and uh, here uh, we see this uh, trajectories path is uh, going to approximately uh, asymptotically uh, this uh, line uh, x equals to 1 x equals to minus 1 x equals to minus 1 so this is the um, this is the stable stable equilibrium point and this this present line is unstable because the all trajectory is uh, going away from this uh, state uh, from this line and all trajectory is uh, going towards the line x equal to minus 1 so x equal to minus 1 is uh, stable and x equal to plus 1 is uh, unstable when r is equal to 
value uh, nearly approximately equal to my to minus 0.7 and uh, corresponding uh, this this the uh, uh, right hand side graph gives the gives the page diagram page portrait and left hand side diagram uh, gives the bifurcation diagram when uh, r is negative we get two uh, equilibrium this and this a st a stable equilibrium and this the unstable equilibrium and corresponding stable equilibrium uh, for this this uh, horizontal x r we get this negative value minus 1 so here we get this minus 1 negative value and this plus 1 unstable equilibrium so we get plus 1 unstable equilibrium. for this particular r equal to minus 1.4 so r equal to is this point minus 1.4 if we uh, increase r in this way so this move uh, this uh, equilibrium point uh, moves um, on the x axis in this phase diagram and correspondingly correspondingly uh, the bifurcation diagram these equilibrium points uh, moves also so uh, if you change the uh, bifurcation parameter so is when r equal to 0 we get here only one equilibrium point which is semi stable equilibrium point and corresponding this point is this 0 r equal to 0 and this x axis so this dotted line gives the uh, unstable branch actually collection of all unstable um, equilibrium equilibria points and the uh, lower branch is the green solid line and this branch gives the all stable equilibria points and when r is positive suppose r is positive then uh, we have no equilibrium point and this the dotted line for this r equal to 0 so no uh, equilibrium, equilibrium and when r is negative and we see that there are two equilibria uh, points one is stable upper one is stable and uh, positive uh, positive uh, value of positive x uh, this gives the unstable and negative x negative x star uh, gives the stable branch and so uh, this is the bifurcation diagram in the left hand side diagram is the bifurcation diagram very beautiful diagram of this And next, uh, supercritical third group bifurcation. If uh, the differential equation is dx dt equal to minus x square plus r, in the previous case, uh, subcritical bifurcation dx dt equal to x square minus plus r, and the second case, supercritical third group bifurcation dx dt equal to minus x square plus r. So this is equal to minus x square plus r, and uh, similarly, uh, we get uh, for steady states dx dt equal to 0 and x equal to plus minus 2 over r and 2 equilibria x1 star equal to 2 over r x2 star equal to minus 2 over r and fx equal to minus x square plus r so df dx equal to minus 2x or r greater than 0 there are two real and distinct equilibria x1 star and x2 x2 star x1 star equal to root over r x2 star equal to minus root over r and df dx at the point x1 star equal to minus 2 x1 star is equal to minus 2 root over r is obviously negative so x1 star equal to root over r is a stable equilibrium point and similarly df dx at the point x2 star equal to minus 2 of minus root over r so minus minus plus so 2 root over r is positive so x2 star equal to minus 
uh, root over r is unstable equilibrium point and uh, r equal to 0 for the case r equal to 0 uh, there is one, one equilibrium point uh, because here x equal to plus minus root over r so put r equal to 0 so x star equal to 0 only one equilibrium point and df dx corresponding x star equal to 0 is equal to 0 so we cannot decide uh, about the stability uh, from this uh, sign conversion and uh, we from graph we can say the um, x star is a semi-stable equilibrium and case 3 for r negative uh, x star x star equals to plus minus root over r is purely imaginary number so there is no equilibrium points now phase diagram for this case when r greater than 0 and we get and this uh, curve is x x1 star equal to root of r minus uh, root of r r is obviously stable and this x2 star minus uh, root of r r is obviously unstable because in the right hand side of this point x2 star is dx dt is positive sign so put here a uh, right handed arrow and the left hand left, left side of this uh, point x2 star is dx dt is negative so put here left side arrow so this is unstable and for r equal to 0 uh, this uh, right side of the uh, point 0 is stable but uh, left side of this uh, point 0 is this uh, negative so this is the left, left, left arrow and so this is the unstable branch and this is stable part stable portion and for r negative uh, this there is no equilibrium points and for this case bifurcation diagram uh, is this type uh, this the this type and this x1 star equal to root of r, r the stable equilibrium and the lower branch gives the unstable equilibria and this and give is the bifurcation value and this type of bifurcation is called supercritical saddle node bifurcation because uh, the this equilibria exist for the value of the bifurcation parameter r greater than the bifurcation value 0 this refer uh, this bifurcation referred to as the supercritical saddle node bifurcation where the upper branch gives the stable equilibria and the lower branch gives the unstable 